హలో అందరికీ స్వాగతం సుస్వాగతం నా పేరు అజయ్ భండారి అద్భుతమైన రోజు మరియు మన ఆంధ్ర ఎడ్యుకేషన్ సొసైటీ రెండు సంవత్సరాల తర్వాత మళ్ళీ ఇలా మన వార్షికోత్సవం జరుపుకుంటుంటే అందులో నన్ను అఖ్యాతగా పిలిచిన తర్వాత నా పక్కన సహ వ్యాఖ్యాతగా కూడా ఎవరినైనా పిలిస్తే బాగుండని అనిపించింది అంటే నేను ఈ హాల్ మొత్తం తిరిగాను అందరూ పంచ వేసుకునే వాళ్ళే కనిపించారు కానీ నా పక్కన పనికొచ్చేవారు ఎవరు కనబడలే అయితే ఎవరు ఎక్కడా ఎక్కడా ఐ సోఫీ హియర్ a very warm welcome and a very pleasant good morning to one and all present here to celebrate this annual day function of AES school and junior college ajay what an amazing atmosphere and energy as our students who are waiting for this auspicious day since a long period of time we feel privileged to extend our warm welcome to a honorable chief guest shrimati padmada chunduru md and ceo of national securities depository limited all our dignitaries principal ma'am mrs k lakshmi lalita our ahm supervisors teaching and non teaching staff parents and all our enthusiastic friends ikkadiki ichesina mana pradhana upadhyayalu shrimati k lakshmi lalita gariki mukhyanga mana mukhya atithi శ్రీమతి పద్మద చందురు గారికి మరియు గురువులకు విద్యార్థులకు అందరికీ నా పేరు పేరున నమస్కారం గత సంవత్సరం మీ అందరికీ తెలిసిన విధంగా కరోనా మహమ్మారి వల్ల మన వార్షికోత్సవం జరుపుకోలేకపోయాం అప్పటి నుండి ఎప్పుడెప్పుడా అని ఎదురు చూస్తున్న శుభదినం రానే వచ్చింది రెండు వత్సరాల తర్వాత మళ్ళీ ఈరోజు ఇలా మీ అందరినీ చూస్తుంటే ఒక పండగలా ఉంది తెలుసా సార్ ఈరోజు పండగే కదా మన వార్షికోత్సవం సార్ ఆ మాత్రం హుషారుగా ఉంటుంది హుషారు అన్న మాటకి అసలు ఏ మాటగా మాట చెప్పుకోవాలి మన ప్రేక్షకులు కూడా కాస్త హుషారుగా కనిపిస్తున్నారు అయితే ఇలాగే ముందుకు కొనసాగాలని ఆశిస్తూ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ కోవిడ్ నైన్టీన్ ఫర్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ వన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఇయర్స్ అండ్ ఫర్ దిస్ పాండమిక్ టు ఎండ్ everyone including parents teachers and children got frustrated being at home and now waited for a long period of time for entertainment enjoyment let's begin this morning with a prayerful mood when we pray with faith we express it through our sincere thanks to him he fulfills our desire if we call upon him and acknowledge him every moment especially at the beginning of this program so now i call upon our primary students to lead us in prayer may god bless all of us for the successful functioning of this event
వాళ్ళ ప్రార్థన గీతంతో మనందరికీ ఎంతో పవిత్రమైన అనుభూతిని కలిగించినందుకు పాడిన వారందరికీ ధన్యవాదాలు థ్యాంక్ యూ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫర్ లీడింగ్ అస్ ఇన్ ప్రే ఓకే సో లెట్స్ మూవ్ ఆన్ టు అవర్ పర్ఫార్మెన్సెస్ బై స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ అన్ ఇంప్రెసివ్ అండ్ కల్చరల్ డాన్స్ కుచ్చిపూడి కుచ్చిపూడి ఇస్ అ డాన్స్ ఫ్రేమ్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ విత్ ఇట్స్ రూట్స్ ఇన్ ది ఏన్షియన్ హిందూ సంస్కృత టెక్స్ట్ ఆఫ్ నాతి శాస్త్ర ఇట్ యూజువలీ బిగిన్స్ విత్ అన్ ఇన్వొకేషన్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నోన్ ఫర్ ఇట్స్ ఇంప్రెసివ్ క్విక్ ఫుట్ వర్క్ డ్రమాటిక్ క్యారెక్టరైజేషన్ ఎక్స్ప్రెసివ్ ఐ మూమెంట్స్ and spirited narration when it is performed the goddesses of learning wealth and energy are invoked kuchipudi anedi enimidi pradhana bharatiya shastriya nrutyalalo okati idi bharata deshamloni andhra pradesh ane rashtramlo kuchipudi ane gramamlo udbhavinchindi paata paata samskaranalo kuchipudi uniki ki sambandhinchina aadharalu పదవ శతాబ్దపు రాగి శాసనాలలో కనుగొనబడ్డాయి ఆ కళను ఇప్పుడు మన హై స్కూల్ విద్యార్థులు ప్రదర్శించనున్నారు వీక్షిద్దాం Sadvi 
ഐക്യം ശിവം
The next. The next. The next item is Kolavatiwa Rangasai. This item that takes the splendor beauty of Sri Ranganada. In this song, the dancer says, "On Ranganada even a thousand eyes are not sufficient to behold your beauty. Where that is so, how can I see you with these two eyes? You are the one who has Laksh Lakshmi Devi in your heart." and who glances at your beauty your multifaceted beauty is enha enhanced by the golden huge garlands the tulsi garland well positioned on your chest amongst other jewels the kasturi tila on your forehead and your most passionate all these makes any in these three world worlds charm our joy at the very sight of yours
a graceful and mesmerizing performance. Let's give them a big round of applause. I am a good person. 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 ఇది తన ప్రతి అడుగుతో తాళంతో మన మనసుకు ఉపశమనం కలిగిస్తుందని ఈరోజు చూసాక నాకు అర్థమైంది ద హోల్ కంట్రీ ఇస్ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ ద సెవెంటీ ఫిఫ్త్ యానివర్సరీ ఆఫ్ ఇండిపెండెన్స్ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రోగ్రెసివ్ ఇండిపెండెంట్ ఇండియా ఇస్ సెలబ్రేటింగ్ ఆజాదిక అమృత్ మహోత్సవ్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఇంటగ్రేటెడ్ బై అ హానరబుల్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ శ్రీ నరేంద్ర మోదీజీ on 12 march 2021 and the festival will run for 75 weeks which will end on 15th august 2023 various social and cultural programs are organized during this festival similarly we are proud to celebrate our andhra education society's 75 plus years of celebration to in to empower students Japan, 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 Japan,
communities now our secondary students are here to perform a rajasthani folk dance and so i call them onto the stage for their performance okko rashtraniki okko rakamaina janapada nrutyam untundi alane rajasthani vari sampradaya janapada nrutyanni chusedama yes <laughs>
ఇలాంటి పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ నెవ్వర్ బిఫోర్ ఎవ్వర్ ఆఫ్టర్ that was really mind blowing and energetic performance let's give them a jor dar taliya inka inka sound penchandi idi chaladu adi now i would like to hand over the mic to nisha ma'am for the stage program a very good morning to one and all first of all i would like to welcome all of you on this very special occasion of our school annual day to begin with i would like to welcome our honorable chief guest Mrs Padmaja Chunduru who is MD and CEO of NSDL to the dais accompanied by our honorable member board of trustee Shri K Ramarao sir our honorable president Shri Ram Mohan Rao sir our honorable secretary Shri ASR Krishna Prasad sir and last but not the least our beloved HM Shrimati Lalita Ma'am.
special occasion reminds me of the poem Daffodils by William Wordsworth, where the poet says, For often on my couch I lie in vacant or in pensive mood. They flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then, and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Yes, such happiness can only be given by the beautiful, fragrant flowers. My friends, you're right. It's time for floral tribute. May I now request our honorable member, board of trustee, Shri K. Ramarao Sir, to give a bouquet of flowers to our honorable chief guest, Mrs. Padmaja Chunduru, as a token of our love and respect for her. Thank you, sir. May I now request our beloved headmistress, Mrs. Lalita Ma'am, to offer floral tribute to our honorable member board of trustee, Shri K. Ramarao Sir, as a mark of respect. Thank you, ma'am. May I now request our dear AHM, Mrs. Shantishri Banam, to honor our honorable president, Shri Ram Mohan Rao Sir, with a bouquet of flowers. Thank you, ma'am. I would now like to request our primary head teacher, Mrs. Lalita Madam, to offer. Thank you, ma'am. Atithi Devo Bhava. Our Indian culture regards guests as gods. To keep this tradition going, I would like to request our Honorable General Secretary, Shri A.S.R. Krishna Prasad, sir, to give welcome address. Please, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning and a warm welcome to the dignitaries on the dais, teachers, parents, and all my dear students. It gives me immense pleasure that all of us could gather here today after this difficult period of time that has changed all our lives. Are you happy, students? Today we have among us a very renowned guest, Mrs. Padmaja Chunduru. She
She is the MD and CEO NSDL since September 2021 after a 37 year stint in banking industry in SBI and Indian Bank. At Indian Bank, Mrs. Padmaja has successfully steered the merger of Allahabad Bank into Indian Bank amid the COVID challenges, significant improvement in all key merit and uh, the able handling of the cultural integration of two diverse banks was the subject of a case study of titled Merger, Merger of Equals by Harvard Business School Publishing. <laughs> Mrs. Padmaja was awarded Banker of the Year by Forbes for 2019-20. Best CEO at ET Prime Women Leadership Awards for 2021. A postgraduate in commerce from Andhra University, Mrs. Padmaja joined SBI in 1984 as a probationary officer in a career spanning more than th three deco decades with uh, postings in India and USA. She gained rich experience in corporate retail and international banking. She was uh, country head U.S. operations, SBI at uh, New York from 2014 to 2017. Mrs. Padmaja chaired the Indian Bank Board and also was uh, on the board of LIC for three years. Mrs. Padmaja is passionate about women empowerment and believes that social, cultural and economic changes are necessary to achieve this. She has implemented many measures in all her roles in, to achieve this both for employees and customers of the bank. Ma'am, we the Andhra Education Society family welcome you to our 75th annual day function. We would also like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Ragukumar Chunduru for making time to grace this occasion. We are truly obliged to have you here with us for this special occasion today, sir. Ma'am, thank you all. Once again, a big hand for this great personality. As I rightly said, we are indeed very, very fortunate to have amidst us a very eminent personality like Mrs. Padmaja Chunduru. And now, it's time to honor our distinguished chief guest, Padmaja Ma'am. So, may I now request our Honorable President, Shri Ram Mohan Rao Sir, to present a memento to our dear chief guest. to our chief guest, Mrs. Padmaja, which expresses the warmth of our love and affection for her. Thank you, ma'am. And now, I would like to request our Honorable General Secretary, sir. I would like to request our Honorable G General Secretary, sir, Shri A.S.R. Krishna Prasad, sir, to present a bouquet of flowers and shawl to Shri Ragukumar Chinduru, better half of Mrs. Padmaja, ma'am. A very big hand audience. 
I guess her success is all because of him. He is the secret of her success. Yes, now the photo seems to be complete. Thank you. I would like to mention with pride that in spite of this pandemic situation like COVID-19, we kept going ahead. In other words, we were engaged with various online and offline activities in spite of all the ups and downs. To give us the review of the same, I would like to invite our ever-inspiring dynamic principal, Shrimati Lalita Madam, to present the annual report of our institution. Please, ma'am. Thank you, Anisha. A very good morning and warm welcome to everyone present in this August gathering. Esteemed chief guest of our today's function, Srimati Padmaja Chunduru, MD and CEO NSDL, member of board of trustees Sri K. Ramaro, President Sri B. Ramohan, General Secretary Sri ASR Krishnapasar, other managing committee members, distinguished guests, all my colleagues, parents, and my dear students, I have gathering. immense pleasure in Esteem presenting the annual of report of the Andhra Education Society's high school and junior college for the years January 2022, member of December Board of 2021, on the jubilant occasion of Sri 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 Ramohan, Ramohan celebration. General Secretary, Sri the S. annual S. report showcases other managing committee members and glories of our school. Distinguished guests, we have always been all my colleagues to create an environment and my school, dear students, which helps the young minds I have to blossom and provide in the annual report of the Andhra Education Society's high school and junior college personality. for the year. We set standards January and goals for ourselves. Member of the Board of Trustees, D.K. Ramadhyay, of President Mori, B. Ramohan, General Secretary, and more. The annual various sections of the other managing committee members and glories of our school. We have always been my colleagues and junior parents and my dear students, which helps the young minds to have pre-blossomation and provide a standing for the annual report of the Andhra and Holy Spirit 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 of the
In HSC, in SSC, 285 students appeared and achieved 100% with 110 distinctions, 140 first class and highest in the school was 97.20%. Thank you. We take this opportunity to congratulate the students for their excellent performance and warm wishes for their bright future ahead. Such an achievement year after year by our students is made possible only with the commitment, dedication, and involvement of the teaching faculty to whom we are proud of and record our deep sense of appreciation. Now I present a glimpse of various events, activities, and achievements of this year. Teachers are also learners. Staying updated is a key, a key to success in any field, especially in the field of education. Our teachers from pre-primary to junior college attended various workshops and seminars organized by the school, education department, and others so as to improve their economic transaction skills and to update their capabilities. Online classes during COVID-19 period. In the academic year uh, 19 to 20, commenced with uh, exclusive online classes initially and later in October 2021, a hybrid model of online as well as physical classes were introduced. Detailed guidelines were issued by the authority to be followed during this pandemic. School used to Zoom Cloud app as our platform for online classes. Timing and timetable were also modified to fit to the online classes. Now coming to staff achievements, our teachers are examiners, moderators, assistant chief moderators, and chief moderators in HSC and SSC boards in the subjects of English, history, commerce, and mathematics. Latest achievement is our primary teacher, Sri E. Ramesh, has received uh, Mayor Award for Best Teacher category. Our, our Telugu teachers are constantly are part of a Telugu textbook committee for entire Maharashtra state. Hearty congratulations to all of you, sir. From our primary section, we had regular visits and inspections from the education department of BMC, even in this pandemic situation, uh, to check on the online teaching and record performance of grading indicator, that is PGA. We are glad to inform that we have received positive remarks for our school cleanliness and for other record work in every visit. That is a really great achievement to us. Coming to student programs, to ensure that our students are well equipped with knowledge to face any challenge, to have focused sessions on special topics, including disaster management, basic life support, health and hygiene for girls, career counseling, leadership skills, career planning and development, etc. We conduct PTI meetings regularly to review the activities of our school and seek the parents' participation and feedback about our activities and discuss about the performance of their children. Ma'am, we encourage and expose our students to competitions to help them build confidence. In various co-curricular competitions conducted by different organizations, our students from pre-primary to junior college won the following prizes. Our tiny tots from pre-primary section won many prizes in handwriting coloring competitions conducted by Kala Children Academy. In Gita chanting competition conducted by Chinmaya Mission at area level, our pre-primary students, S. Parnika from senior KG has won second prize, and I. S. Abhishek from junior KG, A. Himaja from senior KG won consolation prizes. Gandhi Smarak Nidhi Mani Bhavan Grant Road conducts various competitions every year for students of pre-primary to 12th standard all over Mumbai. Our pre-primary student K. Ayman from junior KG has won third prize in Hindi storytelling, and T. Parnika from Senior KG won third prize in English Storytelling. From primary section, in Hindi Poetry Recitation, Yadav Siddhi of 4th B from the Mani Bhavan competition won second prize. And in Marathi Poetry Recitation, M. Josna of 2nd C 
and G. Arnav of 3rd D won first prize. Thank you. Padmasali Mitra Mandali conducts various competitions every year for the students of standard 1 to 4 all over Mumbai. Our student won many prizes. Few among them are in Telugu elocution, Nikhila G of 3rd D won first prize. K. Rakshita of 4th A has won second prize. And in English elocution, Nikhila G of 3rd D has won first prize. C. Ifwat of 2nd B won second prize. And in English essay writing, Y. Abhay H of 4th D won first prize. Yes, Dignesh of 4th D won second prize. And in drawing competition, K. Safwan of 2nd C won first prize. J. Durva of S of 2nd A won second prize. P. Vignesh of 4th B won first prize, etc. In Gita chanting, S. Ansika G of 3rd A won second prize. And along with this, many other students won consolation and third prizes also, as the list is very large. I'm re reduced and reading very few names only. People's Welfare Society has conducted inter school competition. Our primary section students have won the following prizes A. Nikhila G of 3rd D has won second prize in English recitation, and G. Archana S of 4th B has won third prize in solo dance. Now coming to secondary section, ISEA, that is Information Security Education Awareness, conducted national level drawing competition on 30th, 31st August 2020. Master Mailaram Abhinav of 9th Standard secured second prize at state level and also received a cash reward. M. Abhinav of 9th C has won first prize in journal level drawing competition conducted by Salam Mumbai. G. Diksha of 7th E has won first prize in drawing competition conducted by IGM Hospital B1D on National Tuberculosis Elimination Program. G. Diksha of 7th E has won third prize in online Bala Chitrakala Spardha that may award at ward level 2021 conducted by Education Department. G. Sony of 9th E has won first prize. D. Pavitra of 9th B won second prize in drawing competition conducted by Maharashtra Raja Javar Balbhavan, Chani Road on Children's Day. In Vedic chanting and elocution competitions conducted by Ramakrishna Mat, C. Vishal B of 5th uh, B won first prize, L. Rishikesh of 7th B won second prize, and Dhyaneswar Vidyalaya Vadala has conducted various competitions on the occasion of 725th uh, Sant Janeshwar Samadhi Day and our students won the following prizes. In English elocution, M. Rishabh of 7th B won first prize. C. Kajal of 7th E uh, has won second prize. T. Tanushka of 8th E has won first prize in Marathi Pasayadan. Riya Bote of 9th B has won first prize. And Shri, Siri V of 9th B has won second prize in Marathi elocution. Pavitra D of 9th B won first prize in drawing. 159th Jayanti of Swami Vivekananda was celebrated on 12th January 2022 at, as National Youth Day in India. That is, uh, ra, this is celebrated by Ramakrishna Sarada Samiti and it has conducted main, various competitions. Our students have won the following prizes. B. Shubhangini of 8th F in senior group won first prize and C. Rashmi of 7th B in junior group won second prize in English elocution. A. Yogita of 7th D in junior group and B. Riya of 9th B in senior group won first prize and V. Sheetal of 8th E won second prize in Hindi elocution. T. Tanushri of 6th A and C. Vishal of 6th B won first prize in Marathi elocution junior group. Madam, we are very happy to share that we have received the winner of the school trophy. That is, that, that school has maximum prize winners across the categories and languages. That is, seven prizes are won by, out of seven prizes out of 12, are won by our school. A big clap to all of you. Thank you. Now coming to junior college. Miss Boga Archana of 12 Science A got second prize in All India Essay Competition on Science and Technology conducted by Geetam University, Hyderabad. Students from our college won prizes in various events in Prati Festival held at NKS College, Vadala. 
Bunt Sung Education Society conducted various competitions through online. Master Vinay and Karthik team has won first prize in treasure hunt. Miss P. Bhavana has won third prize in face painting. B. Ajay has won third prize in sketching. Master Arfat of 11th Commerce D and Miss Sony of 11th uh, Commerce B has won first prize in duet singing. Master Ajay Bhandari of 12th Science A has won first prize in solo singing competition. And Anaditi H of 12th Commerce B uh, won first prize in Lang Rangoli competition. Master Rahul S of Commerce B, uh, 11th Commerce B, Master Brijendra R of 11th Science A, Master Farhan and Master Nazir K won first prize in free fire competition. Now coming to scholarship examination conducted by government of Maharashtra. In the year 1920, our students, uh, Master Rishab, Rashmi and N. Charantej and B. Rupa from 5th standard are selected in merit list. Our staff, Srimati D. Jayanti, Srimati K. Mamata, Srimati K. Shivakumari, and Srimati T. Lakshmi Bai, and Srimati B. Poonam trained these students of 5th standard. Our sincere thanks to all of them, and we expect more and more in, co in coming years. <laughs> Our students participated in drawing elementary and intermediate grade examination conducted by government of Maharashtra in the year 2020. 23 students appeared for elementary exam and 22 passed with A grade and 6 students with B grade and 5 students with C grade. Nine, 19 students appeared for intermediate grade examination and all of them have passed with A and B grades. Our drawing teachers, Mrs. Vijaya Gamare and Mr. S. Santaraju prepared the students for drawing examinations. As always, this year is also filled with a lot of celebrations, which included the Republic Day, the Maharashtra Day, Teachers Day, Hindi Day, the Saraswati Puja. All are celebrated online through Zoom Cloud app in the academic year 2021 due to COVID-19. This academic year 21-22, we have celebrated in the school premises uh, all these active, uh, festivals, preserving the COVID-19 protocol. Students and teachers from all sections participated in all the celebrations with great enthusiasm in the right festive spirit. International Yoga Day was celebrated on 21st June 2021 with various yoga activities. The importance of yoga in today's life was re-emphasized during the program. Our 75th anniversary of the Andhra Education Society. The Andhra Education Society instituted in the 15th August 1946 successfully completed 75 years in the year 2021 and celebrated 75th anniversary. <laughs> celebrated 75th anniversary on 15th August 2021. The Chairman Board of Trustees, Sri G. P. Rao, graced the function as Chief Guest. Entire staff of the school, retired principals, and uh, other management committee members attended the celebrations with great enthusiasm, even during COVID-19 pandemic, by paying homage to the founder member, Sri Patruni Venkatanarayana. National Mathematics Day was observed on 22nd December to commemorate the birth anniversary of Srinivasa Ramanujan. The program was featured with elocution competition and maths quiz, etc. MCGM and Project Mumbai have arranged co-vaccine vaccination drive in Andhra Education Society campus on 28 January 2022 for the students of age 15 to 17 years. A total of 463 students from high school and junior college are vaccinated. We have value education classes in our curriculum for 5th to 9th standard with the support of Ramakrishna Mission. Value education aims at creating uh, responsible citizens for the nation and to help develop the spirit of brotherhood and respect towards parents and elders. Quiet, please, students. We also encourage socio-cultural activities in which our students learn Vedic chanting with the help of Ramakrishna Vivekananda Center Dada to expose the students to our age-old tradition. Our students perform the Vedic chanting recitals at, at every function held in the school. We have regular classes which include Kuchipudi and Kathak dance 
classes to introduce the appreciation towards uh, the fine arts in the young minds. Our students uh, regularly practice volleyball, boxing, kickboxing, square martial art, karate, athletics, football, and cricket. This year, we have introduced additional new games and activities like handball, kabaddi, and throwball, and yoga. Many students represented our school in inter-school competitions at district level, state level, and national level also. Few prizes won by our students in this year are Master Harsh of 11th Commerce B has secured first position in state level Lati competition held at Sholapur, Maharashtra. <laughs> Junior state level boxing competition was held on 29th December 2021. At Sholapur, Master P. Vivek of 11th Commerce B won bronze medal. I take this opportunity to place on record my appreciation and thanks to the retired staff, Sri Jerome Das, Srimati Aruna Rao, Srimati J. Hemalata, Srimati Anuradha, Sri Venkatramana, Venkatramana and Sri Venkatraman, Sri, uh, Srimati Sita Mahalakshmi and Srimati Manjula, who served this initiation for many years. Many milestones have been achieved and many still have to be reached. This report is a sincere attempt to showcase our progress in terms of achievements and activities during the last two years. On this memorable occasion, as we recount our success with pride and happiness, we wish to dedicate all our achievements to the committed effort of a committed team called the Andhra Education Society we humbly salute to our visionary leaders of the past and the great ones of the present and seek the divine grace and blessings to guide us in the right direction in all our future endeavors. We express our sincere thanks and gratitude to all our students, parents, well-wishers and patrons of our school without whose help we could not have been in a position to maintain high standard of education and discipline in our school. We take this opportunity to commit ourselves to do our best to serve this institution through quality education. I conclude the report on the activities of our institution held during the last two years. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Audience, before we proceed ahead, I want all of you to clap loudly for yourself. Very, very loudly. Because the school annual report is nothing, but it is all about your achievement, my achievement, our achievement, the AES high school and junior college achievement. We are all feeling at the top of the world, and that too in this pandemic situation. Hats off to ourselves. And now, it's time to give a pat on the back of our achievers, who worked very, very hard to prove their capabilities. Yes, my dear friends, it's time for prize distribution to honor our twinkling stars, our Tare Zameen Par. And the speciality of this particular annual day is that we are going to honor our students, our achievers of two academic year, 2019-20 and 2020-2021. As we were unable to uh, have the annual day on account of restrictions, so let's do the honors now. Uh, to begin with, I would like to start with our junior college achievers. I would like to request our Honorable Chief Guest, Padmaja Ma'am, to do the honors. We'll start with 2019-2020. The first rank holder for HSE Board Exam 12 Science B Division is Gupta Sachin Lalchand, 84.77%. Give a big hand. He is a part of our institution.
the second rank holder 12 science b division is adagatla rishikesh gangadhar 84.62% Well done, Rishikesh. Now again, the first rank holder from 12th Commerce C Division is Konda Sai Rohit Ramesh, 89.54%. The second rank holder The second rank holder is from 12th Commerce B Division N Ashish Arjun 87.85% Thank you ma'am for doing the honors and now turning our attention to again the next batch of junior college 2020-21 for that i would like to request our honorable member board of trustee shri k ramarao sir to do the needful the first rank holder is from 12th science division b nadar suryakant Okay. The student is absent. I would like his sister to receive the honor on her brother's behalf. Come on audience, a big hand. The second rank holder is from 12th Science A Division Boga Archana Ravi 93.17% She is not present so I would like her sister to receive the award on her behalf Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thanks a lot. I would now like to request our honorable president Shri Ram Mohan Rao sir to do the honors. To begin with 2021 batch 11th commerce C division Ramabuddhi Sanjana Raja Rao 93.17%. Come on. A big hand audience. The second rank holder is from 12th Commerce A Division, Pasikanti Pravalika Sadaya, 91.17%. Thank you sir. Thank you. And now let's divert our attention to secondary section for their SSC result 2019-2020. For that I would like to request our honorable general secretary Shri S A S Rao Krishna Prasad Rao sir to do the needful. First rank holder is Pragati Prakash V 94%.
Give her a big hand. The second rank holder is Aarti Anil V, 93.6%. 93.6% and let me tell you both the students are from 10 C division Rima teacher a very special congratulations and congrats to us also. We also share the success. Now, 2020-21 batch, I would like to move ahead. It's 2020-21 batch. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. And now I would like to invite our dear HM ma'am, Lalita ma'am, to do the honors. First rank holder, Manasvi P. 97.6% 10th A Audience a big hand Second rank holder is V Yuvraj 96.2% again from 10th day. Tenth students, as we have seen, and the credit goes to Bina Purohit teacher and her team. A big hand. I wish all our students a very bright future. God bless you all. All teachers, of course, all teachers. We are equal shareholders. And now, the most awaiting moment. The felicitation of your teachers children, your teachers and non-teaching staff members who have successfully completed 25 years of their service in this institution and still going on with same zeal and enthusiasm. Teacher, a divine personality whose description cannot be enclosed in the brackets of any definition. A teacher is the one who goes beyond the text an angel of God. So, to begin with, I would like to call upon Mr. John from Junior College. A big hand. He is an English lecturer. I request our honorable chief guest to do the honors. Thank you, ma'am. And now, the next person to receive this honor is none other than 
Mrs. Himobindu, who is also an English teacher from our secondary section. I would like to request Shri V. Mohan sir to do the honors. Please, sir. She is a very dashing and outspoken personality. Thank you, sir. Great. And now, it's time to honor a very special staff member from primary section. For that, I would like to request Shri Prakash Raju, sir, to do the honors. And that very special person from primary section is none other than Mr. Nagaraju sir. Please sir. There cannot be a better way of honoring a teacher. Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. And now, let's talk about the non-teaching staff members. They too have their valid contribution in strengthening the pillars of the institution. To do the honors, I would like to request Shri S. V. Ramarao, sir. It's an achievement. I would like to request Shri S. V. Ramarao, sir, to do the honors. And this special person is from primary section, Mr. Santosh. Please, sir. A big hand. They are all background people, not to be seen, but they are there. Their presence is very much required. Thank you, sir. And last, but not the least, it's time to honor another very, very special teacher. But before that, I would like to request Hari Leela, ma'am, to do the honors. Please, ma'am. Ah, <laughs> I thought it's a secret, but she knows it. It's none other than Karuna, ma'am. Please. You know, pre-primary teachers, they are the one who inculcates love for the school in the hearts of the little ones. They hold their tiny little fingers and they bring them to the school with a lot of love and affection. 
and these students when they grow up they are the ones who bag prizes awards rewards for the institution these are the wonderful people who lay the foundation so a big hand for karuna teacher a big hand audience a very big hand thank you ma'am congrats all of you actions speak louder than words true but at the same time we cannot deny the fact that powerful words are capable of bringing about revolution words packed with knowledge and message prove to be a source of inspiration to many for that i would like to request our illustrious chief guest to address the audience our audience is very keen to hear your words ma'am please Namaste. Under ki namaskaram. Being Andhra Education Society, I thought we'll start with uh, mother tongue. Uh, namaste, bhaiyo or beno. This is Maharashtra again. Uh, I'm very happy to be here, and uh, in the the dignitaries on the dais, Sri Ramohan Rao, President, Sri Krishna Prasad, Secretary, Sri Rama Rao, Madam Lalita. Uh, the headmistress i uh, i mean it was announced that i'll give some words of wisdom and all that i don't think i can add anything to the this illustrious institution which has which is in its 75th year platinum jubilee that you are celebrating uh, along with the country the amrit mahotsav and i think the next 25 years as the country is expecting even this institution will go from strength to strength and uh, definitely in its 100th year it would reach the pinnacle of you know it should be topping the educational institutions in the country <laughs> i've been reading and i've been following this andhra education society first of all this is my i visited the school i've seen the facilities the management was very gracious to take us around the school premises and uh, the it was very very obvious and visible the kind of commitment the kind of passion and the hard work that went into building this institution and even today is going into uh, maintaining that standards of not only academic excellence but also in terms of the facilities that are available to the uh, students i have been received with a very wonderful uh, salute by the students who were playing flute and uh, you know other instruments this is the first time i have experienced such a welcome and thanks to this uh, great institution for giving me that uh, experience i have met the teachers of course the headmistress the head of the pre primary primary i think it's very very again uh, very clear when i went to some of the classrooms i could see the theme of that classroom actually depicted on the walls on the board the children themselves have done a lot of work on the uh, on the theme and this uh, this coming together of the trustees of the management of the teaching staff of the non teaching staff of the students i think it is taking me back to the period when i was a student and uh, that's also a reason why even today i'm a little scared of teachers but coming here <laughs> i feel you know i am feeling much more comfortable in the company of so many uh, teachers many of you who have uh, i understand been here for more than 25 years we've been uh, witness to some of the felicitations that happened today uh, it's a coincidence that my school in hyderabad was called the andhra yuvati mandali and though it was yuvati mandali it was a co education school and it was a i mean i look back with a lot of uh, 
good memories about the school, about the, about the experiences we had there. That was the foundation of our uh, education, of our personality, of our character tra uh, traits, of the whatever success we have achieved in our life, uh, both in personal and professional life, I think the foundation is laid in the school, starting with the pre-primary, primary. primary. Uh, the kind of uh, patience, the kind of uh, commitment the teachers have in training the students uh, and the way they go beyond their uh, normal call of duty to do that is really, really, the teaching community, I think, deserves a huge uh, thanks, gratitude, and applause from all of us. The school, your school has very good facilities. Uh, I've seen the cleanliness, the hygiene that is maintained in the school. I'm very uh, happy also to learn about the various activities that the school has been taking part in because it, no institution can be built or, uh, you know, strengthened without actually competing in the open environment. And the fact that you are competing with all other schools, so many competitions in Mumbai, and you are winning uh, is a very, very nice and uh, strong uh, indication of the potential that is there in this, in this school. Uh, while, while we talk of all this, one thing also I observe and I really appreciate is not many of the, and I don't think I can see any student on his phone, mobile, iPad, laptop, whatever. That also is, I think, a very good indication of the kind of focus, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, concentration that students have been giving to the world, the real world, rather than the virtual world. Uh, why I bring this up is because I am seeing, not only among my own uh, family, nieces, nephews, or the children, but even across the working environment, we see people lost in their gadgets. And uh, the mobile phone is the biggest friend for all of us. You know, we can't keep off uh, WhatsApp or, uh, you know, those Instagram or uh, Facebook or whatever, Twitter. Uh, not, not even for a minute is a long period in the life of a digital gadget. Uh, I think we need to look at it in a more uh, realistic way. Uh, what is it that is taking us away from the real world into the virtual world? Is it really worth it? Because today it might look very, I'm especially addressing this to the students, because today it looks very attractive, it is very, uh, very, very distracting. Uh, but is that the real world? Ultimately, when you are in trouble or when you are in a need, would you reach out over the virtual world or will you run to your father, to your mother or to your teacher? I think we need to uh, have this test of uh, reality and uh, also focus on what are, uh, you know, what is our immediate uh, requirement. Yes, you should enjoy life, you should have all this, uh, you know, entertainment, you should have all the uh, exposure to different uh, forms of uh, uh, whatever, entertainment or uh, other uh, learnings that you have, but not at the cost of physical activity, not at the cost of academics, not at the cost of building the social a grouping that is very much required at this stage in life. Many of the friends I still have today and I can reach out to for help are the friends I made while at school. You know, over, the, over your life, uh, and I'm quite, uh, you know, gone through all these phases, so I can tell you, uh, when even today if I have to talk to someone from, uh, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis, uh, share from the heart, it is the friends I made in school. Uh, not the recent, uh, not so much the recent uh, colleagues and all. It, it takes doing to develop that kind of a network. And that network, I request, I think you can all develop while in school. That also means a lot of discipline. Academics is, whether we like it or not, it's quite boring. Maybe it is not very uh, attractive today, but academics is the core of our future. And I think I'm very happy to see the kind of uh, scores that, uh, that you all have got, and I'm sure there is much, much more to come in the years ahead. Uh, we need to focus on the education, and not as just learning by rote. That those days are gone. You know, understand the concept, understand the logic, understand the reasoning. And for that understanding, you have to give your mind a uh, rest from the rest of the stuff that is going on, and actually focus on the thing at hand. Uh, a focused study, forget multitasking while studying. 
you know, or while when you want to do something, forget all the rest of the things. I think focus on the immediate uh, uh, subject on hand goes a long way in achieving that kind of a uh, success. The other thing I would like to say is please, uh, you know, here we have the students, we have the parents and a big, uh, you know, thank you to the parents also along with the teachers. I think it is these two are in separable parts of contribution to a child's future. And, the, and for every child, who is, your first, who is your dearest friend? Is it the friend staying next door? Is it your schoolmate? Is it your classmate? Or is it, don't forget that your parents, your teachers are your best friends. They might not be, you know, so, uh, uh, you know, pleasant in the way they uh, give you instructions, but what they are doing is for your own good. And this we will realize when we are, you know, and then we realize what Amma said was right or what father said was right or what the teacher was telling me was very correct. I think we need to, uh, we need to be, uh, realize all these things and actually balance our life, enjoy life, enjoy your childhood, have fun with friends, also do what is required for the future. Because children today are not the, are not, so ignorant they are not uh, they have exposure to a lot of things going on in the world the internet and the uh, virtual worlds have opened up for them a lot more things that normally at, at that age we did not have access to but that also means it's a double-edged uh, weapon while it helps you a lot it can also harm us a lot so we need to have that balance I'm, uh, I'm also wanting to see that I'm very happy to see a lot of girls and boys have won, uh, you know, these prizes in communication, in elocution, in debate, in uh, soft skills. I think that is one area which, which we need to have to take us across. The first impression you make when you go to any interview or you go to for any selection, your knowledge comes knowledge content is very important but what is also very first impressions do make a lot of difference so we need to learn to practice to speak practice to present ourselves in a very positive way rehearse a little if necessary but develop those soft skills develop the communication skills that are required for taking us forward in this uh, in this life i also have a word of uh, uh, advice for, uh, I see that almost 50% or more than 40% of the students here are girls. While the country, while the, uh, you know, the administration, everyone is encouraging gender equality. I still see that I have worked in institutions like SBI, Indian Bank, now NSDL. There are very, very strong, I mean, hurdles in the place or in the in the path of women actually reaching the top or achieving their full potential. And that environment should start from the school and it is there in this AES school. I want to, I am very happy to see the girls. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not gender biased, but I want to make sure that, you know, this is recognized. And all these girls who are, uh, you know, need to, Prepare for the future, not only girls, boys also. I think we need to think of what we want to do. I was asking one of the uh, prize uh, winners what he will do and he was very clear saying I'll do CA. You know, okay, I mean he has already made up his mind what he will do. I think that kind of a, uh, that kind of a focus and when you know what you want to do, not all of us know so clearly what we want to do. But we know that my interest is aligned to this area. Then we need to work towards that. Because if at all there is a, what is the most valuable thing in our life today? You tell me. Is it the mobile phone or is it the, um, you know, is it the relationship with the parents? Is it, uh, is it friends? Is it uh, anything else that you can order your money or the bank balance? I think from my perspective, the most valuable thing is time. The moment you lose one second, one minute, one hour, one day, one year, it is lost forever. And time is something that we need to manage, we need to maintain the discipline in terms of allocation of time. That is the only resource everyone has equally. Money, some of them have more, some of us have less. You know, other resources, everything, nothing is equally distributed except these 24 hours in a day. I think that is for us to use it to the maximum and use it very optimally. The 
planning for the future also means planning for financial independence. Why I am talking of financial independence, it's in my DNA. I have been in banks and now I am, I am in an institution that works in the capital markets. So equity, stock, broking, all this, uh, DMAT. So that is what uh, the present uh, uh, National Security Depository does. But why I am talking of financial uh, independence or saving? At your age, the students should look at, you know, learn the basics of financial management. And for this, I would like to offer volunteer that we will do courses here. Uh, from NSDL side on the financial awareness for the high school students. I think that is something we will, uh, we will start doing. Whichever language you want, we can do it. And we will tie up with uh, AES to do it. I think I would like to participate and see how the response is from the institution. Because money is very important. You need to manage that resource also very carefully start saving, start planning for the future, and especially don't be dependent on anyone. Women especially, again I say, economic independence is the basis of all other things like confidence, like you know, our own personality building, our own potential, reaching the potential. Don't undermine economic independence. You know, my father might be very rich, my husband might be very rich, my sons might be earning very well, but I, as an individual, also need to have that independence of uh, having a say in how my money is spent or what I would like to do with my resources. And that means I also earn. So this is something I would like to convey. I might be coming very strong on the women empowerment thing, but that is my, uh, you know, <laughs> that's my passion. So whatever we can do on that side also, in terms of... Uh, uh, in terms of vocational training, I think what we are uh, today also looking for in educational institutions like this is that we should prepare the students while they are in the 12th class or 11th class, you know, prepare them not only for um, uh, IITs, for engineering, for medical, all that is there if they are interested. Even other options are available. I think whether it is, uh, you know, um, the, the skill sets that are around uh, repairing cars, uh, autos, or uh, mobile phones, or uh, tailoring, or stitching, or whatever you call it. There are umpteen skills that can be developed while we are still at school. Or immediately in that gap when between school and college, you, uh, school uh, uh, after 12th you have a gap when you go to the next uh, professional uh, education. I think we can tie up again, I would uh, offer that we can work with the um, Anti Educational Society Trust to see what are the, there is a national skill mission uh, by the government. There are so many courses that the government is conducting. There are so many courses banks are also conducting. So I would like to see uh, the students tie up and actually show interest in learning a skill that is other than academics, that will help you in your future. You may not take up a profession in that skill. You may not need to become a, uh, you know, uh, get into auto repair or mobile repair or uh, tailoring. What I'm saying is these are skills that are very useful. They will come useful when sometime in our life. I have done the same thing. I could change tires. I could change, you know, when, uh, when the car got into trouble. Some basic repair work I had learned and so it came in handy. Uh, similarly, I think hobbies. We need to look at what is my hobby other than Netflix or uh, Amazon Prime or whatever, I think there are umpteen hobbies available. I saw the library uh, in your school. Reading books is a very good hobby. Playing games is a very good uh, hobby. I think all this, I'm sure all that is there. But uh, look at uh, reading. Look at exposing yourself to different uh, thoughts. Don't go by just that Facebook or just that uh, Twitter, which leads you into a certain uh, predetermined thought process. We need to look at different options, different opinions, and then you choose. That means you exercise your brain, you exercise your mind, you exercise your thinking abilities. I, I would uh, like to, you know, I can go on and on, but I know there is a time constraint, and uh, I think there is a lot more. I am really uh, very overwhelmed and very uh, impressed with the work that this institution is doing. There are many areas I can see where uh, even, you know, there is no end to perfection, perfectionism, so we need to work more and more uh, towards uh, those uh, goals. So, 
so vocational training, so you know, financial literacy. I am laying out action points for myself so that I don't forget what I said here and go back and you know, get into the routine. So these are things I think uh, we will uh, definitely uh, take up. And uh, from, from my side and from our institution side, thank you very much for inviting me to this program today. Uh, this is the best Saturday I had in a long, long time, uh, you know, given the, given the COVID situation and uh, uh, the, the general dullness was, that was there. Today, you, are, uh, uh, you know, the tiny tots, the children of the school doing this cultural program really uh, brought out. I mean, I could see the enthusiasm, I could see the energy. Those two small kids, you know, even though they were wrapped up in the curtain, they could emerge successfully <laughs> and, and still dance around. I think that was a... <laughs> uh, it was, it, these are memories that will always remain with us. Nice. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this experience. All the best to all the students, to the teachers, uh, to the non-teaching staff, or to the trustees, or to the management uh, council. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Thank you very much for offering uh, financial awareness uh, courses for our students. Definitely, we will plan for those courses from in the coming academic year, and definitely, we will be in touch with you, madam. Thank you very much for all your advice. Thank you. Again, to all of you, uh, she is one of the financial legend that we are seeing uh, from our Telugu fraternity because I haven't seen such a senior person from, uh, you know, our Telugu states becoming uh, like NSDL chairman and director on boards of LIC and stuff like that. So uh, she has given uh, great words about our organization and also said she'll be helping us, uh, you know, with. Uh, courses from their side and skill development and all that. So can we all give her a big applause and a standing ovation, please. Thank you all. Ma'am, no words to express our gratitude. So all I can say, those two simple words, thank you, thanks a lot. Thanks for the wonderful guidance. We have heard series of speeches, but your speech stands head and shoulders above. It was directly connected to the audience, especially our kids. So my dear students, by now you must have realized the importance of academics in your life. It might appear boring, but... It helps you in long way process, right? And while you use your mobile, see that you maintain safe distance from it. Use your gadgets carefully. And most important, rote learning will never help you in life. You just by heart and vomit out the same no. You have to understand and then you have to write your exams. Only then you will be successful in your life. And last but not the least, I'm so um, anxious and so eager. I'm waiting for that time period when we will get this kind of financial management um, uh, sessions from you and your team so that teachers and students, we can all benefit and we can have a wonderful life, a very, very pleasant life. Thank you, ma'am. And now, before we draw the curtain, it is very, very important to thank all those who have contributed to the success of this program directly or indirectly and made it meaningful. For the formal vote of thanks, I invite our assistant headmistress, Mrs. Shantishri Ma'am. Good afternoon, one and all. The most honorable chief guest, board of trustees, members of management, management committee, teaching, non-teaching, faculty, support staff members, students, parents, and my dear friends, bright morning to the gathering. 
it is my esteemed honor to propose vote of thanks on the occasion of annual gathering of our institute we wish to thank our chief guest mrs padmaja chunduru md ceo of nsdl for kindly accepting our invitation and pre presiding over this annual day of the andhra education society thank you madam for being with us today your thoughts have truly inspired us and heartfelt thanks you for offering the courses which will be collaborated with our institute which will be helpful for our students in future thank you once again madam we we thank our member board of trustees sri k ramarao president sri b ramohan general secretary sri asr krishna prasad and the other management committee members for constant support and visible presence and guidance for that further i would like to express my deep sense of gratitude for our headmistress mrs k lalita for her solid support and timely monitoring in every aspect and we grow it is your appreciation and word that enthuses us in all the effort thank you madam next i thank our dear parents and the trainers who have extended their cooperation with vibrant colors to reach our boundaries beyond sky our students have given incredible performance and they are worthy of appreciation i would like to thank all the participants for today's event now i would like to thank our technical support and service providers of light sound photography i would like to express our gratitude to the heads of various sections teaching non teaching class 4 employees known and unknown hands that contributed to the grand success of our today's annual day function finally i would like to thank the entire team of shanmukhananda hall for their cooperation to prepare and organize this annual day function thank you one and all and i would like to take leave sorry i would like to take your leave with the feeling of happiness and gratitude thank you so much thank you ma'am and now i would like the dignitaries to kindly enjoy the further part of the program and i would like to invite our junior college students to take over the mic thank you one and all for being a wonderful audience and have a nice day thank you once again
So let's get back to our fun and fabulous performances. But before that, I would like to request the audience to sit in alternate seats. I repeat, the audience kindly sit in alternate seats and keep wearing your masks. As for so many days, we had our online and offline lectures, which messed up our studies, and we don't even know anything thoroughly. Such batao we were bored. So, to make us feel refreshed and active, I welcome our junior college students onto the stage as they'll express their concept of Corona through their stunning performance. Me under ki telisna vidanga Corona samayam lo prapancham mottam alla kallola maiyindi. Yento mandi doctor lo patient la chikistra chesto baare prana lano tyagam chesaro. So bala kastani gurtin chedan ki chupin chedan ki vachas sunaro mana junior college vidyar tulu. Kabati Andarok Sare Gatika Chapatlato Ahwanidam. Out of control, out to go, kar ke goal. Kuch kitha, kuch kitha, kuch kitha, yeah. Out to go, kar ke goal, city baja ke bol. Kuch kitha, kuch kitha, kuch kitha, yeah. Life ho out of control, out to go, kar ke goal, out to go, kar ke goal, city baja ke bol. मुर्गी क्या जाने अंडे का क्या होगा अरे लाइफ मिलेगी या तबे पे फ्लाई होगा कोई ना जाने अपना फ्यूचर क्या होगा होट घुमा सीडी बजा सीडी बजा के फोल भैया भारत में कोरोना वायरस से प्रभावित मरीजों की तादाद बढ़ने की वजह से सरकार ने कुछ सख्त कदम उठाए हैं। सरकार ने राजनयिकों और वर्क परमिट पर भारत आने वालों को छोड़कर सभी विदेशी नागरिकों के लिए 15 अप्रैल तक जारी वीजा रद्द कर दिया है आज लोकसभा में कोरोना पर चर्चा के दौरान स्वास्थ्य मंत्री डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन ने बताया की तीस ऐसी पैंतीस हजार लोगो आरोप निगरानी रखी जा रही है हेलो दोस्तों मुझे कोविड सिम्टम्स है मैं कोविड पॉजिटिव शायद मैं मर जाऊंगा जाने नहीं देंगे तुझे जाने तुझे देंगे नहीं चाहे तुझको रब बुला ले हम न रब से डरने वाले जाने तुझे देंगे नहीं I'm sorry, आपका दोस्त मर गया नहीं तूने मेरे दोस्त को मार दिया तू डॉक्टर नहीं तू मर्डर है तूने मेरा दोस्त का मर्डर किया मारो इसे मारो मारो इसे मारो 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 ए फोन निकालो फोन निकालो इसके ऊपर वीडियो निकालो केस डालेंगे निकालो निकालो हाँ 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 निकालो निकालो हम आज के वह आनंदी बाई
भाई जोशी हॉस्पिटल के बाहर जहां से हमें एक सनसनी खेत क्लिप हाथ आई है जो आपके होश उड़ा सकती है ये देखिए किस तरह हमारे देश में कोरोना ग्रस्त पेशेंट को हॉस्पिटल में कॉरिडोर में सुलाया जा रहा है जमीन पर कितना इनसेंसिटिव है हॉस्पिटल प्रशासन क्या ऐसे लड़ेंगे हम कोरोना जैसी महामारी से क्या हॉस्पिटल प्रशासन का ये बर्ताव सही है क्या डॉक्टर्स को वॉरियर्स कहना सही है हमें अपने विचार जल्द ही ट्वीट कीजिए हैश टैग वॉरियर नॉट सो वॉरियर पे अब तक आपने देखी हुई ये कहानी आम लोगों के नजरिए से है अब इसी कहानी को हम डॉक्टर के नजरिए से देखते हैं आज रात आज रात 12 बजे से पूरे देश में ध्यान से सुनिए पूरे देश में आज रात 12 बजे से संपूर्ण देश में संपूर्ण लॉकडाउन होने जा रहा है हिंदुस्तान को बचाने के लिए हिंदुस्तान के हर नागरिक को बचाने के लिए आपको बचाने के लिए आपके परिवार को बचाने के लिए आज रात 12 बजे से घरों से बाहर निकलने पर पूरी तरह पाबंदी लगाई जा रही है डॉक्टर पेशेंट आया और पीपी किट का शॉर्टेज है ठीक है तुम बैठ का इंतजाम करो मैं पेशेंट को लेके आता हूँ हेलो पापा आप कहा तीन दिन से घर भी नहीं आ रहे हो सब ठीक है ना हाँ बेटा मैं आ रहा हूँ यहाँ मेरी सबसे ज्यादा जरूरत है यहाँ पर सब ठीक होते ही मैं घर आ जाऊंगा पक्का प्रॉमिस हाँ बेटा पक्का प्रॉमिस ठीक है पापा अच्छा बेटा आते वक्त तुम्हारे लिए क्या लेकर आओ नहीं पापा बस आप घर जल्दी आ जाओ और कुछ नहीं चाहिए ओके बेटा बाय ध्यान रखना अपना हाँ पापा बाय बस आप अपना ध्यान रखना सी हसी भोली सी खुशी फूलों सी वो बाहे भूल गए जब देश ने दी आवाज हमें हम घर की राहें भूल गए हम सोए नहीं कई रातों से जाने वतन साझा दे बुझे हमें नींद उसी दिन आएगी जब देखेंगे आवाज तुझे के मैं खिल जावा इतनी सी है दिल की आरजू तेरी नदियों में बह जावा तेरे खेतों में लहरावा इतनी सी है दिल की आरजू अभी शिफ्ट पर ही जा रहा था uh, कोई सिम्टम तो नहीं है ना नो नो नथिंग मैम आई एब्सोल्युटली फाइन दैट्स ग्रेट अच्छा लिसन योर रूटीन कोविड टेस्ट इज कम पॉजिटिव ओ ओ ओके हम बिगिन योर आइसोलेशन क्वारंटाइन हो जाओ अ जी 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 मैम लेकिन मेरी शिफ्ट कौन लेगा अभी तो कोई अवेलेबल नहीं है यश तुम शिफ्ट की चिंता मत करो विल डू समथिंग कुछ नहीं हुआ तो आई टेक योर शिफ्ट ओ 
ओके तुम अपने रूम में रहो ओके स्ट्रेस मत लेना कोई भी सिम्टम आए तो इमीडिएटली इन्फॉर्म कर जी 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 मैम मैम अनमो थिंग वो बीपी किड्स के बारे में बता दो शॉर्टेज है आई नो आई एम वर्किंग ऑन दैट तो अपना ध्यान रखो जी टेक केयर जी बाय बाय हॉस्पिटल से बात कर रहा हूँ आपके हस्बैंड कोविड पेशेंट ट्रीट करते वक्त उनको भी कोविड हो गया और वो अब उस दुनिया में नहीं रहे आई एम सॉरी क्या ये नहीं हो सकता ये जो भी कुछ हो रहा है सब हमारे वजह से हो रहा है क्योंकि हम सब नियम पालन नहीं कर रहे हैं बिना मास्क के घूमना लॉकडाउन रहने के बावजूद भी बाहर निकलना ये सब गलतियाँ जो भी हम कर रहे हैं ये उसी का नतीजा है तो हम अपने लिए नहीं तो अपने आने वाले पीढ़ियों के लिए नियम पालन करते हैं सभी कृपया करके मास्क पहनिए सोशल डिस्टेंस मेंटेन कीजिए सैनिटाइज़र लगाया करें और स्वस्थ और स्वच्छ रहें that was really a heart touching performance let's give them a big hand this performance might have reminded reminded you of your near and dear ones who have lost their lives due to pandemic covid-19 let's take a moment of silence to remember them in our prayers aa ah, andaru corona dance chusaru kada kabatti andaru corona niyamalanu पाटी सुरक्षित उची सुरक्षित उड़ी इतर सुरक्षित उची अट्ठी अड़क मरचिपया मेर अंदर वैक्सीन वे नीन अंदर वे इंकना वे वो उगलर 
let's move on we the indians have got the freedom after a lot of struggle of freedom fighters many of them are known all over the country and many are even known all over the world but still there are many of them who sacrificed a lot for freedom of our country and they are not very well known though their struggle matters a lot so now the students of secondary section are giving a tribute to both of them on the occasion of 75th year of independent india we are free because of all these warriors we were we are and we will always be proud of all of them mana bharata desham muddu biddalaina veera nayakula tyagafalam valle manam ee roju ila unnamu kabatti vaari tyagafalanni smarinchukovadaniki mana secondary bala balikala nrutya rupakanni chusedama aithe chudandi शरीर में रक्त है मैं पूरी निष्ठा से झांसी की सेवा करूंगी कम्मू 
కొన్నా చీకట్లోనా ముమ్ముకొచ్చే వెలుతూరమ్మా కచ్చ కట్టి కత్తి పడితే చిచ్చురేపే కాళేవమ్మా படையும் தாங்கி நின்ற மரவர் படையை வழிநடத்தி சென்றவர் வீரத்தின் விளை நிலம் நமது வேலுநாச்சியார் வெத்து வேட்டடிக்கும் வீணர்களே சிந்திப்பி வெற்றி கொடி நாட்டியது யார் என்று சிந்திப்பி சரித்திரம் தெரிந்தோரே புரிந்து நீ சிந்திப்பி போரில் மறித்தது யாரென்று மக்கள் எல்லாம் சிந்திப்பி ஆண்டது யாரு போரில் மாண்டது யாரு ஆண்டது யாரு போரில் மாண்டது யாரு அஞ்சாலஞ்ச தீரமுடனே ஆங்கிலேயரை எரித்ததிலே அஞ்சாலஞ்ச ே ஆங்கிலேயரை எரித்தவிலே ஆண்டது யாரு போரில் மாண்டது யாரு ஆண்டது யாரு போரில் மாண்டது யாரு காளைய கோவில் கலங்கண்ட வெங்காய கண்ணதிரே துப்பாக்கி முனிதனி காளையார் கோவில் கலங்கண்ட வெங்காய கண்ணதிரே துப்பாக்கி சாபு கொடுத்தது முத்து படுகிறார் தேவர் அல்லவா எங்கள் வீரமங்கையின் கணவர் அல்லவா எங்கள் வீரமங்கையின் கணவர் அல்லவா थोड़ी सी धोखने वाली दक 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 सा जिन हो चुनू चुनू हो तू दे लाल लहू की ये सब तू मिला मिला ले फिर रंग तू खिला खिला ले ये सब तू मिला मिला ले फिर रंग तू खिला खिला ले और तू शिल्पकार तू भारताचा बोधी सत्व मूक नायका 
मोडल्या रूढी त्या परंपरा दिव्य तेजा तुमच सकल न्यायदायका जीवन तुझे आम्हास प्रेरणा नाही दिशा तुझीच गर्जना गर्जना भीमराया ఆహా మన వీర నాయకులు మన కళ్ళ ముందే కదలాడుతున్నట్టు అనిపించింది కాబట్టి అందరం నిలబడి గట్టిగా ఒకసారి మన భారత మాతకు జై జైలు కొడదామా భారత్ మాతకి దాట్ వాజ్ అన్ అవుట్ స్టాండింగ్ పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ రియల్లీ వండర్ఫుల్ ఓకే సో నా వీ హ్యావ్ రీచ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఎక్సైటింగ్ అండ్ అవేటెడ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ యాన్యువల్ డే ఎస్ it is none other than a power pack and spectacular performance by our junior college students ippudu kaasta vinodakaramaina nrutyam chestu manandarni inkaasta aananda parachadaniki mana junior kalashala vidyarthulanu pilichedama so let's, let's welcome, welcome them on to the stage, stage. Way back way, you know that I don't play Streets 
not safe, but I never run away Even when I'm away OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT I pray to make it back in one piece I pray, I pray That's why I need a one dance Got a Hennessy in my hand One more time before I go Higher powers taking a hold on me I need a one dance Got a Hennessy in my hand One more time before I go I if I was taking a hold on me Sir, 
अच्छी यार अजय why are you so sad my board exams are near and i have to prepare so, a lot are fir to wind up karna padega yes so now it's time to wind up but before that ajay wants to say something chaala rojula tarvata oka manshi vachi match aadi first ball ke sixer lepite enta kick ostado mana andhra students prathi samvatsaram results lo anta oopisthunnaru kabatti ade oopini manam mana results lo konasagistu andarki mana andhra education vidyarthulante ento chupinchali nijanga mana results tho mana guruvulani కుటుంబ సభ్యులందరినీ గర్వపరచాలి మేమందరం ఆ మూడ్లోనే ఉన్నాం కదా ఫ్రెండ్స్ అది ఆంధ్ర స్టూడెంట్స్ అంటే తగ్గేదేలేట్స్ నేషనల్ యాంథమ్ 